Good morning, my dear brethren. May the Lord bless you. Once again, it is a pleasure for me to be able to be with all of you this early in the morning and to be able to share the devotional today. In the daily devotional book that we use as basis to share the word every day with you, in on page 93, I'm going to be sharing today the following portion of the scripture. Colossians chapter 2, as of verse 8 to 10. And the word of the Lord says, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the ful fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. If we observe the ministry of the Apostle Paul, as he, as how he preached, how he taught, the epistles that he taught, that he left, there is a lot of things that we can say about this, but there is something that is very essential that I would like to share with you today. And that is the way that he fought with all his strength, giving the best teaching that he could have shared and, and imparted to believers so that they will not allow themselves to be fooled or dominated or deceived by false doctrines and teachings of men that the only thing that do is to enslave, enslave the people and to e stop them from maturing and growing as a Christian. The Apostle Paul, for example, who was telling Timothy not to waste time in vain discussions, that he had to avoid certain Uh, conversations that did not get anywhere and we today have to follow the example that Paul left we have to stop that commandments of men that traditions and customs that in the majority of the cases have nothing to do with the Bible dominate and control and manipulate our lives Christ has called us to live in freedom in that freedom, glorious freedom of the children of God, that freedom that comes as a result, as a product of having experienced and known the truth. How is it possible that there are some believers that are still being a slave of commandments of men, of denominations, traditions that have nothing to do, I repeat, with the word of God? but that ha they have been used to practice and believe and say and do certain things. If, we, if you analyze it in the light of the scriptures of the light of, of God, have no biblical foundation, no support. So it is very important to know the truth so that nobody can manipulate you, so that nobody can teach you things making you believe or making you feel bad if you don't do them or accept, accept them. Christ has bought you with his blood. Do not allow any men or women or any denomination or any institution or church will control you to the point that you have to ask permission even to be able to go on vacation with your a husband and your children or your family or to take a day off. My dear brethren, God has called us to freedom. God has called us to put in practice his word. And his word is the one that we have to submit to and to him. Some want to control the lives of the believers like they were the owners of the people that they shepherd or disciple. And nothing is further from the truth. The owner of the souls, the owner of the lives, the head of the church is our Lord Jesus Christ and not any other man or person. We have read this morning, on the other hand, that in Christ we are complete. You don't need absolutely anything else more than to have a relationship that is direct and personal and daily with the Lord, with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If he, we knew more of his, of his word and we will know more communion and relationship with him, how much problems and how many uh, tears we have been avoided. I repeat, if we would have known more of the word of God and less of the teachings of men and doctrines that are invented by men, inclusively some prophecies that 
are being used to continue controlling the lives of certain believers. If we would be more having more communion with God, if we would spend more time with the Lord of the church than the church of the Lord, we would be more happier and, and freer, and we could have enjoyed the gospel of a relationship that is beautiful, that we can maintain with the Lord Jesus Christ, that some, unfortunately, after so many years in church, they don't know anything of the truth of the Bible, inclusively inclusive of the same very Lord Jesus Christ, that they only serve and know and want to please. Let's ask him when I finish this devotional that the Lord will open our eyes and that he will help us to discern and to differentiate what comes from God and what comes from men. Do not be under the joke of anyone, only by the joke, by the authority and the covering of the Lord Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean that we're not going to respect the people that God has put in our lives to disciple, to teach, to instruct. One thing does not take the other one away, but to put us under the joke to serve a ministry and a denomination or a person like he is our owner, like without him we cannot do anything or anyone, that's not true. That doesn't come from God. That let's not allow anyone to govern your life. You have a head, you have an owner, you have an authority, and his name is Jesus, our Lord, all-powerful, which to whom we owe all obedience. So as of today, start asking if what you're practicing today, if what you're receiving and accepting and telling every, every time amen is coming really from God, or from where is it coming, where is that coming from, that manipulation, that obligation that we have to accept everything that have nothing to do with the Bible, but it's a personal doctrine that somebody has invented, that somebody has created to keep people under their thumb and making them feel bad when they make their own decisions. That is like children, we can teach them we have to educate them and we have to teach them but sooner or later they will have to grow and mature and they will stumble and fall but they will learn to fly and not be in all their lives in the in the nest like they were little children let's teach people to mature to make their own decisions to obey the lord and not only to men that have nothing to do one thing with the other Why don't we just pray together and ask the Lord the blessing of our God and that he will open our eyes and that we will mature because maturity is going to teach us to discern what is from God from what is not. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the freedom, the glorious freedom that you came to give us, to buy us with your precious blood you have taken from our, our faces yokes and traditions of man that did not come from God and we ask you Lord in the name of Jesus that you will help us to discern the good from the bad from those traditions human men and traditions that what you left us in your blessed word Lord we ask you today that you will help us grow and mature to serve you with freedom and joy and happiness and not with fear and, and, and fear of anyone Thank you because your word inspires us and will teach us and it will rebuke us in the right way. Teach us, Lord, and correct us and send us the right way. We put our lives like every day in your, in your hands as we always do. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. I send greetings to all of you today. Uh, if Lord willing, I will be with you and Pastor online answering the questions that we have been receiving. May the Lord bless you. Greetings to all of you. Blessings. And let's enjoy the freedom that Christ obtained for us on the cross when he died. May the Lord bless you. Blessings for all of you.